uh, there is prejudice here. When people sat down in Germany in 1984 and uh, using a pencil without visiting us, divided us into uh, what they later called countries. And uh, given the fact that uh, during the slave trade era, we were victims, those reporting these stories believed that we are still operating within the confines of the past. But there is spectacular progress. Nobody knew that a black man could become the president of America. And when you talk about Africa, obviously Obama cannot be left out of that at all because his roots are here. We have uh, individuals who have made their own mark. In your feet, Shuinka is a Nobel laureate in English. You know, that's not a mean achievement. The late Tesla Elias was president of the uh, wet coat, one of the best in the legal profession. So where you can talk about uh, Elias and nobody will take note of him. Everybody will kill him from Oxford. All these huge degrees including what academic LLD. Then Okibo, Pius Okibo. You have Nelson Mandela. Is a downer. Zik. Gamma Abdel Nasser, Bugiva, Kenneth Kaunda Guerrero. So many of them. Agostino Neto, Eduardo Modlana, Kwame Nkrumah have mentioned. We have uh, recent ones. Well, if people still want to paint negativism, that's their business. You go to, we come to Abuja, you find certain places here that are better than many places in America. You go to Lagos, it's the center. Of course, you go to, to Kaitu and so on. But well, they may not be the same, they may be like Halim in the US or something. And that is why it is very interesting when they are talking about Nigeria. They go to K2 and so on, film that one. They make sure they go to very nasty places. But of course it's a challenge to all of us. I'm not saying that uh, we're 100% uh, where we're supposed to be. But the journey has started and we are moving on. When the polity works, everybody benefits, not just the leaders, citizens also. Uh, benefit. And so those of you who are citizens should continue to do on things that are positive rather than negative. And you tell them to you see it in your write-ups, you see it in the papers, and that's fine. I was very happy when I listened to one program. It was reported clearly and loudly that by 2030 or there about 2030, 2040, Africa would have become what? one of the major centers of uh, learning and scholarship. You see, sometimes uh, we don't celebrate ourselves. We look at the negative to ourselves. When we try to talk rubbish about ourselves, we are not moving. Nothing is going on. We are corrupt. I don't know which country that can say that it's not corrupt. The individual Nigerian is, so, is a Nigerian. He has no other country than Nigeria and uh, we must be prepared to ensure that uh, we continue to exist as a nation and his role is to be a good citizen, pay his taxes, avoid issues that divide us, concentrate on issues that unite us. After all, our diversity is also our source of strength. But I believe that we have everything that it takes to power ourselves into the correct limelight.